Where do we come from? Have you ever stared up at the night sky and wondered, where did I come from? It's a question as old as humanity itself. For millennia, humankind has been obsessed. Every culture, every civilization has gazed up at the vast black canvas, seeking answers, creating its own tale of creation and origin. We've approached the age-old query from many angles, each offering its unique perspective, yet, from ancient storytellers around a campfire to today's leading scientists in cutting-edge labs, the quest remains the same. Today, we dive into this timeless mystery, journeying through the cosmos, our history, and our very DNA. We will search for the threads that tie our many traditions together. Here, we will tackle this question from three primary dimensions, cosmic, biological, and cultural. Join us as we embark on an incredible journey, exploring the origin of life and ultimately our place in the cosmos. Cosmic Perspective Look into the eyes of those around you. What do you see? A universe of experiences, hopes, and dreams, all unique. Yet, deep down, there's a common thread, a shared beginning. Our DNA whispers tales of ancient ancestors. The atoms in our bodies narrate stories older than the sun. Tales of stars that lived, died, and in their final breaths, birthed the elements that would one day form us. We can find our cosmic origin 13.8 billion years ago in the Big Bang, a cataclysmic explosion of space, time, and energy. In its fiery aftermath, the first and lightest atoms began to form, hydrogen and helium. Over millions of years, these gases coalesced under gravity to create the first stars. Colossal fusion reactions, these new celestial bodies cooked lighter atoms into heavier ones, oxygen, carbon, iron, and all the rest of the periodic table. When they met their inevitable demise, some stars exploded as spectacular supernovae, ejecting their elemental contents into space and forming interstellar clouds. In time, these clouds, too, collapsed under the force of gravity leading to yet new stars and their accompanying planets. Our own solar system emerged from this process about 4.6 billion years ago, bearing the elemental seeds of life from its cosmic ancestors. But Earth, Earth is special. It formed in the sun's Goldilocks zone, an area where the temperature was just right, not too hot, not too cold, perfect for liquid water. This allowed for the birth of something extraordinarily unique, life. Our home is a living testament to the great cosmic dance. Every mountain, every plain, every drop of water shares this universal lineage. Indeed, the water you drink, the calcium in your bones, the iron in your blood, they all have a stellar origin. Thus, as the famed astronomer Carl Sagan once said, we're all made of star stuff. Biological perspective. From the fiery beginnings of our planet, life emerged. How inanimate matter crossed that boundary into living, breathing, reproducing life remains a mystery. One theory suggests that life started in a warm pond, a primordial soup on Earth's surface. There, energy from sunlight, lightning, or volcanic activity could have triggered chemical reactions that turned simple molecules into more complex ones 
capable of reproduction and metabolism. An alternative hydrothermal vent theory posits that life began deep under the ocean in hot, mineral-rich waters near undersea volcanoes. Other scientists believe in panspermia, the idea that life's basic building blocks, or even life itself, could have hitched a ride to Earth on a comet or a meteorite. However it happened, single-celled organisms emerged around 3.5 to 4 billion years ago. Simple, yet determined, each tiny microbe carried the story of existence, holding the potential for what was yet to come. Around 600 million years ago, the first multicellular organisms finally developed. From these humble beginnings, an incredible variety of life forms evolved, including the first animals and plants and eventually mammals. Through processes like mutation and natural selection, life evolved and diversified into the countless species we see today and many more that have gone extinct. With every heartbeat, life progressed. From the depths of the oceans to the vastness of the lands, with each step, each leap, each flight, life wrote its story on the pages of time. Our own ancestors, the hominins, or bipedal primates, split from other primates around 6.7 million years ago. The first members of our genus, Homo, appeared around 2 million years ago. These early humans painted on cave walls, discovered fire, and learned to communicate. They even formed primitive tribes and societies. So, we weren't the first humans, but we certainly are the last one standing. Homo sapiens, our own species, emerged approximately 300,000 years ago in Africa. We are the storytellers. We questioned, we discovered, we built. Every stone, every invention, every artwork, a testament to our need to understand our place in the grand tapestry of existence. Nevertheless, we are proud of billions of years of cosmic and biological evolution, a continuous chain of life stretching back beyond the first cells. Cultural perspective, yet our origins aren't just about biology. Our capacity for complex and symbolic thought Language and social organization is unique in the animal kingdom. Our beginnings are interwoven with culture, history, and personal experiences. Each of us carries an individual story of where we come from, influenced by countless generations before us. Humanity's rich and vibrant story is a complex mosaic, each piece colored by the time and place from which it emerges. Our collective narrative is a chronicle of resilience, innovation, and the unyielding human spirit that propels us forward. At the dawn of human history, our ancestors began to craft sophisticated tools, learn to control fire, and started to communicate through complex language. They also began to engage in symbolic behaviors, like creating art to express ideas beyond the scope of mere words. These early expressions of creativity and ingenuity were the precursors to the myriad forms of communication and art that enrich our lives today. Over time, we formed larger, more thickly settled communities, made possible after the development of agriculture around 10,000 years ago. This innovation led to the rise of the first civilizations, complex societies with distinct cultures languages, religions, and political structures. Plant and animal domestication was a watershed that allowed for sedentary lifestyles and a growing surplus of resources. The result, new social hierarchies and economic systems. From these early societies, we can trace the course of human history through various empires, kingdoms, and states, each contributing to the rich and varied tapestry of human culture. Over thousands of years, through a process of cultural evolution, humans developed diverse ways of life, customs, and belief systems that span the globe. The interplay of these civilizations through trade war and exchange of ideas has been a driving force in the ever-unfolding human story. The invention of writing, the formation of modern science, 
The Industrial Revolution and the Digital Age have each marked significant epochs in our journey. This shared history and culture continues to evolve, shaped by our collective experiences, discoveries, and interactions. Each of these milestones has been a leap forward in our understanding of the world and ourselves, expanding our potential in ways previously unimaginable. Each step on this magnificent journey has brought us closer to understanding that burning question, where do we come from? This quest has been the impetus for our greatest explorations and profound philosophies pushing us to delve deeper into the essence of our being. Our past grounds us, our present engages us, and our future, it beckons. Every child with a dream, scientist with a theory, and artist with a vision contributes to the next chapter of our collective story. And perhaps that's the way to answer the great query, where do we come from? Not with an elegant line of reasoning, a pithy aphorism, or an organized data set. We embed the answer in our culture, where it dwells beyond words and comprehension, but perhaps within reach of our intuition. So, as we stand on this pale blue dot amidst the vast and mysterious universe, let's embrace the awe-inspiring truth of our cosmic journey. When we ask, where do we come from? We invite a multi-dimensional exploration of our past. We come from the stars, born from cosmic dust and the fires of ancient supernovae. We come from Earth, a product of billions of years of biological evolution, molded by the mechanisms of natural selection. And we come from a rich cultural heritage, shaped by our shared history, achievements, trials, and tribulations. This insight, this acceptance of our multifaceted existence brings a deeper appreciation of our place in the cosmos. But perhaps more importantly, we find a shared connection with each other. After all, no matter our background or beliefs, we are all part of the grand unfolding story of the universe, bound by the same cosmic and biological history. Yes, the story of where we come from is ongoing and each of us adds to its chapters. So, as you ponder your place in this vast universe, remember that you are both a product of ancient history and a contributor to future tales. And as we look to the future, remember to carry this shared heritage forward, ever curious about the next chapters of our human journey. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey today. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more exciting content. Until next time, keep exploring, and remember, we are all made of star stuff.